Moving on, the Bayero University Kanobi UK says it has invented the ventilator machine to enhance prevention and case management of coronavirus pandemic. The Vice Chancellor Yehuza Bello made the disclosure at the exhibition of the machine on Friday in Kanu. Bello disclosed that an emergency team was constituted for the project under Ibrahim Abdullahi of the Department of Mechanical Engineering. He said the invention was part of the contribution by the institution to promote research and stem further spread of the pandemic. The Vice Chancellor explained that the ventilator was designed with two mode operating levels for effective management of coronavirus cases. Professor Isa Sadiq, head of Research Center, Aminu Kano Teaching Hospital, now joins us. Good evening, Professor. Good evening. How are you? I'm very well. How are you over there in Kano? Well, we are fine and we are battling with COVID-19. Right. Let's even begin with the first question, which is uh, Governor uh, Abdullahi Ganduji has relaxed the lockdown. How do you respond to that? What's the situation as at today? Well, um, the situation of COVID-19 is bad in Kano because we are seeing an increase in the number of cases being recorded Yesterday, we had the highest number ever reported in a single day, 92 cases coming out of Kano alone. The highest in the country is not a good story to tell any time. And uh, apart from that, we are seeing increasing number of cases coming to our different hospitals uh, with respiratory symptoms as well as other symptoms suggestive of COVID-19. And we are having... Uh, a number of deaths which we can subjectively link to COVID-19. But the good thing about all this is in recent days we are able to swap the patients who have died either suddenly or after hospitalization so as to identify or to confirm that the deaths are from COVID-19. This is an important step towards moving closer to getting the real picture of the pandemic in Kano. Right. Professor, if this is the situation in Kano, as you have mentioned, with new cases emerging and in increasing numbers, then is, that, is it a good decision to relax the lockdown at this time? Well, um, the government has taken its action, and I believe that it is based on advices it is getting both from medical experts as well as experts in other endeavors. For example, those in charge of security, those in charge of economy, some in charge of agriculture, and so on and so forth. Uh, but from the medical point of view, some of us are of the view that we should exercise caution before taking any of such actions. However, a continuous lockdown uh, also has its own disadvantages. So I'm sure these things need closer look and then more discussions. But I believe that uh, even if there will, will be any relaxation, it is a bit premature and people must be informed that they should not come out a large number like they did last week when the whole town was filled up with human beings who went into different markets and supermarkets in search of food or other essential commodities. And definitely, this is a very good avenue for the transmission of COVID-19. And we do not want a repeat episode of that. So I hope that the government will formulate a mechanism whereby even though people have been allowed to come out, the, the movement should be phased out such that, uh, like, for example, in every house, one single individual, an able-bodied young man, should be the person to come out and get the essentials that the family need. No more than one person from a house. Uh, that way, at least, we'll reduce the number of people that are exposed to the risk 
in every single house. And while we do that, we must ensure that the vulnerable, that is the very elderly, people who are above 60, and those with comorbidities are prohibited from even coming out of their houses. Because these are the people who, if they are infected, the severity is enormous, and it is among them that mortality is highest. If we want to reduce our mortalities, this group of people must be prohibited from coming out. All right, very, then, very quickly, Professor. Sorry, Professor, out. I'll have to interject you. Professor, can you hear me? Sorry, I have to interject you. Uh, very quickly, tell us about the ventilator uh, that was invented in Kano State, and I believe also the opening or inauguration of the lab. Yes, um, Bayer University engineers and medical experts came together to invent uh, new ventilators. Some of them are automated, while some are manually manipulated. And this is just like laboratory experiment. They have produced prototypes of this, and they have come together to discuss with Peugeot uh, Automobile Nigeria Limited in Kaduna, who are ready to take this to scale so that it will be manufactured in commercial quantities. However, I must say that this is not something we expect in the next few days or few weeks to come. But at least it is in the offing, and it is an important development also in the containment of this uh, pandemic. Mm -hmm. The second question having to do with a laboratory in the Center for Infectious Diseases Research in Bayer University, the center that I am the head of, I am the director. We have commenced our operation testing samples that are collected from different parts of Kano as well as neighboring states. We have a capacity of 90 samples per round, and we are able to do that up to four times in a day. So we can do up to 360 samples in a day. All right, thank Our you so very much, Professor. I'm afraid that's where we are going to leave it, Professor. Thank you so very much for your time with us. Okay, and please stay safe. Bye. All right, thank you.